inclusivity and that their opinions are heard and they find the, the final decision or the final policy that is adopted as a country accommodates their issues. Thank you. Thank you so much. Naisula. Thank you, Speaker. Um, Mr. Muga, my question is, if you are found suitable by this committee and the National Assembly to be the CS of uh, water sanitation and irrigation, how will you balance the thin line between completion of existing and ongoing projects and starting new ones. And you should just have in mind, if approved, these members of parliament and many others who are not here will be knocking your door, saying there's this project, there's this project in my constituency, and uh, I want to know whether you'll also be intimidated. Some of these members who are third timers, fourth timers, older than you, bigger than you, Please, uh, <laughs> Kenyans would like to know how you'll be dealing with that. Then the second question is, I want to pick your thought on the many water agencies we have in this country. We have them in regional development authority. We have some under the Ministry of Water. And what purpose they, they serve? You know, they're all serving the same communities. We are giving funds to a certain regional development body. We're giving another one to a water agency. The money for development is lesser than the recurrent expenditure. I want to pick your thoughts whether that is a prudent use of resources for us as a country. Hold, uh, Eric. We'll take another one. Posing. Uh, thank you, uh, Speaker. Uh, for the nominee, I don't know why, whether you know where you, uh, where, what you are almost, should you be approved, where you are going, what the kind of industry you are going in. And maybe to help honorable chair and speaker, chairman and speaker, uh, two things. One, there are dams which were already built, and some of them are 50% in this country, big dams. Some of them 50%, some of them 60%, 70% in terms of completion. And an example is one which is in my county. As an example, there are many in this country, but I'll give you one example, which is Muruñ uh, Dam, which costed about like 10 billion Kenya money, uh, but it's not complete. Now with the austerity measures or finance bill having been rejected, and many debate about now where we're going to get money, what will be your proposal on how to deal with that? Because PPP would be suggested